Hi guys, it's me again, Tuna. I'm back and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm still stuck here at home in quarantine because of this effing coronavirus um, that's gone viral, literally. Luckily, I'm still healthy, but I am quite bored. It gets boring sitting at home all day, every day. What can I do? It's fun, it's a little time consuming, and uh, suddenly I remembered something because I am a huge fan of an artist, Marina Bichkova, or something like that. She's original from Russia, but she lives in Canada. Um, she makes porcelain dolls. Yeah, I know that might sound really lame, but her dolls are really special. They're anatomically correct, tiny dolls with ball joints. And basically they look extremely alive, <laughs> soulful at least. And they're just exquisite pieces of art. They're very hard to come by and they're extremely expensive. Anyway, um, I've actually been lucky enough to have owned uh, two of her personal dolls earlier. Uh, I've sold them since then, and now I just own uh, one of her resin dolls, um, which is this one right here. I'm gonna keep her, but the two others I have sold. Uh, but I've always been very creative. I enjoy art and making stuff and handcrafts. I enjoy that, and I'm very detail-focused. A couple of years ago when I had a lot of time and money, I started a doll project of my own. I just wanted to see if I could make one. Kind of a similar style to uh, these ones. I never got to finish it, however. A lot has happened since then. I was married, I got a divorce, I moved out, I got a new boyfriend, I moved again lost my job because I was sick for such a long time and couldn't work anymore and now I started like doing YouTube and podcasts and stuff like that instead and I think I still have the parts that I made in a bag somewhere I think I know where it is if I'm not able to finish it at least I can show you guys so so I think it's here in my closet this is it right here. I'm kind of excited actually. I haven't looked at this in like, I don't know how long. So the whole doll is in here. Obviously not assembled, but I hope it still looks good. So yeah, I actually sculpted these by hand before I molded them. Uh, the details inside her hand, like the lines, I did that after, uh, after I molded them. So I did that in the resin with uh, just a tiny tool and just scraped basically these little details in. Same with the, her little fingernails. This is her face, her head. I carved out um, a hole for a magnet. Uh, so when I make the wig for her, it's gonna be uh, with a magnet so that it just snaps in place. And um, yeah, she's naked. I don't like that the Barbies and dolls in general don't have genitalia and boobs or nipples. And these are her thighs, the hip joint, calves. Oh, it's a knee right there. And these are her arms, upper arms, lower arms. Look at that tiny thing. I just realized that I don't have the equipment that I need to actually paint uh, the doll for now. And because of this um, virus epidemic, I can't really go out and buy that right now. So uh, what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna see if I can assemble it. And uh, yeah, just um, 
just to show you guys and maybe I will be able to finish her later. So firstly, I um, handcrafted, molded uh, all the parts uh, with clay. I used clay to uh, make the arm and then uh, a wooden ball for uh, like the ball joint. After I made all these, I made molds out of them and silicone, uh, a two-part mold. And after that, I filled the mold with liquid resin. So that's what you see here. This is resin. Obviously, they don't look like this completely when they're out of the mold. You have a, a substantial cleanup job after you've molded these. So what I've done is I used fine sandpapers, sanded these by hand. Her butt was obviously full of bubbles. So I filled them in with green stuff and I sanded over by hand to fill all the cavities. And so now it feels just totally smooth. Same here on the front. But it's gonna look good after I paint her. Obviously it's not gonna show through the paint. And since I can't paint her today, I'm just gonna assemble her and show you guys what she looks like. So here she is, and she poses quite well. Of course, um, with the elastics, it will never be um, it will never be ideal for a ball jointed doll because of the tension that runs all through her. It's hard to uh, find a balance between what's too tight and what's too loose because you don't want it to be too loose, so uh, her joints would also just uh, fold back out if you try to pose her. And you still don't want them to be too tight because then they will just curl. Um, of course, I now see that there's a lot of stuff I would have done differently. <laughs> Obviously, I made this. Uh, it's actually several years ago now. For being a first try, I think it's not that bad. We pose her pretty well too. And she mostly um, keeps her poses quite neatly. And of course she would look a lot better with paint. Every little detail is sculpted by hand by me. You were supposed to get some skin color today, but you know, I'm gonna have to wait until this um, virus epidemic is over and maybe I will be able to go get some 
materials. We'll see, maybe I get to finish her and paint her and make her some hair one day. We'll see. Anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel for more me if you want to see that. Goodbye. Okay,